Cochran, 11. Okay, for white board, Eric Loney on the scene. And Eric, what do we know? Well, we know that the parents of these two girls are here at this house. The aunt is just met right now, just patiently waiting for them to come home. They say they're just really dying because they can't go out and look for them because they don't know where they are. They also just have to wait here hoping they're going to come home. They tell us they left this house just around 9, 9.30 this morning. Police say that one of the girls told her, their uh, sister that they were going to visit a half-brother down in Oregon. They were going to get there by either hitchhiking or hopping on a train or a bus. I want to show you the girls pictures again. As you said, 10-year-old Jessica Cassell and 11-year-old Natasha Cochran, our cousin. I mean, Natasha, we're told, now has dyed black hair and a small earring in her nose that is a star. Now, police consider them missing right now. Jessica's mom told me that her daughter has run away before but always comes home within the hour, and these girls haven't been seen in more than eight hours. There's a lot of bad people out there. I'm just praying that they're just they're keeping themselves safe and um, that nothing's happened to them. Ow! Now they told their sister that they would meet her at the Intermodal Center at 2 a.m. tonight, so police say if they haven't found the girls by then, they'll be waiting at the Intermodal Center. And they tell us this is not an Amber Alert right now because they're, they're, there's no uh, appearance of any sort of foul play, so they haven't raised it to that Amber Alert level. Now, I did talk to Jessica's mom, and she told me when she sees her daughter, she'll give her a big <laughs> hug and then plans to ground her for a very long time. If you see these two girls,